Well, hello there, human to be earthlings, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too. Welcome back to the brand spanking new Vickers Light Bushker on Blitz channel. Now, this is a crackerjack tank. This is everything you wish a light tank was. And it's a beautiful tank for all that because it's the first real tier 10 light tank we've had that's not like an autoloader or a oscillating turret or something like that. This is just a, a genuinely RU251 kind of style light tank that does some crazy things. The first thing you're going to know is how good the camo on this tank is. Um, you can see me constantly resetting camo, coming out, shooting, and then pulling back without getting shot. Just crazy uh, abuse of that mechanic. And the bat shot over there is going to get outspotted all the time, and I'm just going to waltz out and, and seem big as a, a dinner plate. But the real reason I want to do this video specifically now is the incredible game that I got sent by a young man by the name of James, uh, I think it's James Zoya, uh, in the Vickers, where he does over 9,000 damage and it features just the most electric ending. And it's one of the most redonkulous games I've ever seen in terms of marksmanship. Now this tank itself, the gun is good. Uh, what I noticed playing it is that the dispersion on the gun 0.321 doesn't do justice to the on-the-move firing. Um, the the aim time is very good. The aim time pops down uh, three seconds, it says, but look, it just feels... It feels like you can hit on the move like no other, and that really, for me, looks like the trademark of this vehicle. Um, and I will go into it and do more work on the British lights because you know how much I love light tanks. But uh, after playing it myself a bit, like, look at that bat chat. He's been spotted up even before he fired uh, by those guys uh, down there. And, and, and he was being spotted up when we were just back here. Yet, we are doing so well back here, farming up damage, not doing a whole hell of a lot. And for a .321 dispersion gun, it hits an awful lot, as you're going to see. Now, I will do more on this, this, but I really want to get to this game. It's pretty spectacular. I will note that uh, we did lose this game in particular. I just liked it because of that little session there where we're going backwards and forwards up the very top of the, uh, the mountain, really abusing that camo. Uh, and you'll see in a, a second, there's a little section that I had the same kind of... Uh, like, there's a little section coming up here where I, I do some drive-by stuff on an E50, and it, it just works a treat, and it's super quick. Um, yeah, that would be uh, Mr. Potato there. Well done, Bushka. Um, I switch over to the heat in case there is someone coming down here that I need to hit, and I just absolutely want to hit. Straight through the tinderbox at the front, and while clacking along at top speed, straight through again, and we're actually going to go round, go past the Hori so he can't shoot us, clear this grub, and then get past the Hori again. But unfortunately, this grub turns up behind us and ruins everything. Um, yeah, the 4202. If it hadn't been for the 4202, we would have been... And the bat chat. Yeah, there's a few too many tanks here, but you get the idea. Super quick, super electric, and very, very, very good on-the-move firing system. So here we go. Here's James with what promises to be... Stick around for this. This is an incredible game. Uh, and from start to finish, uh, I think by the end of this, he takes 34 shots and he hits targets with 30 and pens with all of them. Now, that is a pretty phenomenal number. The APCR pen on this thing is 245. As far as I'm aware, he's just running it at a stock standard 245. The heat is 290, which is very much like a medium tank. Like, that's... That is your standard medium tank, like, uh, you know, your your Leopards, your E50Ms, maybe not the E50Ms, they, they struggle a, a touch, but 245, 290, that, it's very medium tank-like. Uh, 350 Alpha on your APCR too, so it's it's a proper 105 millimeter, um, and 440 on your HE, which is good, pretty solid, 300 on your heat. Um, he uses HE here, so you do have a 105mm British pen on that. That's the L7 short, the 105. And you've got the same kind of round on the L7 short that you get on a tank like the uh, the Conqueror or the 215B, where you get a big, high-penning HE round, which is lovely. Um, that's one of the 
few shots that doesn't hit in this game. He is on for a monumental score. I'm telling you right now that if you've never seen a good drive in World of Tanks Blitz, he pulls every rain right. Now, a lot of times people will just do big damage because they... Um, everyone else potatoes in front of them. But I genuinely think this is just a classic drive, something that you're really going to be happy you saw. Again, full pen HE, setting a fire and getting up to 780 damage out of that one HE pen at the 50 millimeter back on the good old uh, M103. A highlight of this game for me is the grill who has a massive potato moment, like just absolutely blows it completely and then blames Wargaming and then starts abusing his teammates for not winning after he has had what would best be termed a brain explosion. Uh, you're going to see what I mean anyway. It's really, really funny. There's a, It's the most beautiful bit of karma that I, uh, I can remember seeing in a World of Tanks Blitz video. So James is... What, what I really love about this, okay, he's giving himself space. He's got one tank on either flank. Um, there's the light down on the left to the 92E1, who's very good at spotting and is obviously seeing, seeing everything big as, a, as big as an eyeball. Um, big as a dinner plate, big as an eyeball. What is wrong with you? And then on the right down here, you can see he's got the poor old... Uh, yeah, he's gone. He's gone. Uh, it can't be can't be helped. The Hovery Samurai is gone. But that's giving him ample opportunity to farm damage into the back of this Vicar's Light. There we go. And that's a really important one to clear. He has taken damage, though. And this looks terrible, doesn't it? Look, absolute train wreck. Really lovely shot there. Does the right thing, backs out. So at least he only has to deal with one. Doesn't get greedy and try and get the Vickers Light as well. That's a lovely little snapshot. And now he's going to make some tough choices because, obviously, two tanks left, five on the red. Gets a great shot over here. And look, look at these shots. Everything is going in. Like, he is absolutely smashing it. Watch this shot on the grill. Boom! Just beautiful stuff. Absolutely gorgeous. Straight through all the bells and whistles, all the mixed uh, mixed media there. Here comes the Vickers, beautifully lined up and using the spotting. And just as he does that, M103. Now, the M103 doesn't miss that one. And he waits. I like the patience here. Rather than panicking, he is a one-shot for the 103. And watch the little side hug here. Back, forward. Oh, and again. Little side hug. And then a bounce. Danger, danger, Will Robinson. Look how quick this thing goes, though. And he's making the 103 move and shake. And I think the 103 actually had a damaged gun there. That was one of the reasons. Like, fortune favors the brave, but still 6,000 damage, three tanks left to go. And this is where the grill has a really very poor effort, um, which presages some, some big-time rage. Here he comes. Gun damage badly, says the M103, yeah. And the ghoul fires there. That was crazy. Absolutely crazy. Like, that was absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. He fired on the move, going over a hill at a tiny little reticle. Uh, anyway, onwards and upwards. And this has put our Amigo in a really strong position because one of these tanks is a full hit point Jaegeru, okay? Which means he can realistically... If he can clear the E100, and that's one of the few shots he's going to miss. <laughs> so the grill blames Wargaming first. F Wargaming. Like, dude. Dude, <laughs> seriously. This is a great move here. Watch this. So he knows the Jaeger is coming in just a second, and he's going to sneak. Look at this shot on the top. Oh, wow, that was a ripper. And always moving, not staying stationary, and that saves him because the Jaegeru was actually coming up there unspotted. Now, the real classical light medium tank play here is to track the heavy before he can get down. There it is, right there. And then because he doesn't have the gun depression or the turret rotation speed, he sneaks in under and bang. I mean... Beautiful work. And I would like to come to the E100's defense there. He was pushing. Uh, it was a tough shot to hit. Like, that was a tough shot to hit. Great work on the heat pen. Um, and now the Gruel is abusing his teammates. And the T-54 is saying, man, what a lame draw. And this ain't going to be a draw, buddy. <laughs> Here it is. His eyes must be big as dinner plates. And the Gruel is still abusing his teammates after, basically, if the Gruel had sat there and waited for the other two tanks to turn up, this would have been a loss for the uh, poor old Vickers. But look at the damage. 
9,086. 9,435. What a superb drive. 9,734 damage from the Vickers. Nearly 10k in a legit. No AFKs, nothing. Kolobanovsky's RAS, everything. Absolutely everything. And look at these stats at the end, and you'll see 34 shots fired, 30 hit from 30 penetrations. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoy that. More Vickers and everything coming down the gun barrel soon. Look after yourselves. Love your work. And as always, stay safe on the battlefield. Bye for now.